right, time for sports and uh, what may or may not happen uh, as a result of the job action next week. Mike. Yeah, it is yet to be seen, Hudson. A teacher strike would not only leave classrooms quiet, but school gym doors could also be locked tight. It is the busiest time of the year on the high school basketball scene. Births to the BCs are on the line this week at Cowichan Secondary in Duncan for senior boys. Other teams have already advanced to the provincial tournaments, like the ladies from Lambrick Park. Their BC championship run is set to tip off on Wednesday. Well, BC School Sports posted on their website this afternoon that all provincial tournaments will go ahead as scheduled, but whether all the teams will attend these tournaments is yet to be seen. Lambert Park's girls head coach and teacher Rocky Vitelli says his team is going to Kamloops on Tuesday for the double A BC finals, and they are expecting to play their first game on Wednesday afternoon. Lambert is ranked number two in the province and has been billed for a run at this championship. Vitelli says too much time and energy has been invested by his students and by himself to not see this season through. It's, it's hard not to continue with what you've started and that's the message we always send to kids. So I mean after this you know I'll probably do what is needed to do but right now I, I think it's going to come down to every coach and doing what they think is best for their kids and their school. Do you face a fine if you go to this tournament? I don't know. I mean, I've talked to a lot of coaches. A lot of associations have given their okay. Looks like I'm going to get fined one way or the other, maybe, from either the government or my union. But I've got to face up to the kids that I work with every day. And, and I think after this, I mean, I can move on. But right now, I, I've got to finish. He's our coach, and we can't go without him. So if we, this is our year to win. So he's coming. And if he gets fined for that, I'm going to be, I'm going to lose it. Like, we're going to lose it. That's not okay. Well, in Duncan, Lucky Wally and the Claremont Spartans are focused solely on this weekend's Island Championships. Three teams will advance to the BCs, which are scheduled March 13th to 17th at the Langley Events Center. Claremont battled with Dover Bay in the opening game of the Island Finals. We'll have some highlights and more on the tournament during Vancouver Island Report. Well, U Big Bikes men's basketball scored some major honors this afternoon as Craig Bocamp was named Canada West Coach of the Year for the second time in his career. Bocamp led the Vikes to a Pacific Division title thanks in part to leading scorer Ryan McKinnon. McKinnon's all-around excellence has earned him a first-team Canada West All-Star selection. Well, the Vikes got in one final practice at McKinnon Gym last night. They are still walking on air after that stunning victory in the Canada West quarterfinal Sunday over Calgary. Ryan McKinnon and company will face Fraser Valley tomorrow in Saskatoon in the Canada West tournament. The Cascades won their opening series in similar buzzer beater fashion and are the fourth ranked team in Canada. Vikes are ranked fifth, and after splitting their season series a game apiece, you know Friday's contest is going to be close. The only guarantee is if you win Friday night. After that, you're into you know wild card scenarios and whatnot, which you know are, are, are possibilities, but there's no guarantees with those. So we control our own destiny Friday night, and that's what we have to uh, center our focus on. Well, focus can be tough, especially after what happened Sunday when Terrell Evans beat the buzzer to sink the Calgary Dinos. The Vikes are locked in on the task at hand, but they took a few days to enjoy the hype. Have you had a bit of swagger around campus the last couple of days? <laughs> a little bit, a little swagger. Always had a little swagger, but now I'm a little noticed around. That's about it. You checked it out a few times on YouTube? Yeah, I've seen the clip a couple of times, and uh, it's been pretty cool to watch. Next time you got to hit it, though, right? Exactly, yeah. Uh, I gotta stop getting bailed out by my teammates. Well, good news all around for the Camosun Chargers women's basketball team. They won their opening matchup at the Pac West Championships, beating Quest 67 58. The Chargers now advance to the semifinals to face the tournament's top seeded UNBC at 3 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. First place in the NHL is on the line tonight in Vancouver as the Canucks return home to host the St. Louis Blues. Yes, the Blues, the surprise team this season, sitting just one point back of the Canucks in the standings and come in riding a four game winning streak. New Canucks defenseman Mark Andre Gragnani will crack the lineup tonight, paired with Aaron Rome. It will also be the home debut for Sammy Paulson and Zach Cassian. Well, as the saying goes, some guys have all the luck. And last night at Save on Foods Memorial Center, it was this guy, Liam Stewart, son of Rod Stewart. That had the hot hand. Short-handed Liam Stewart makes it 2 nothing for the Spokane Chiefs. Third period, Royals on another power play. And guess who strikes again? 
Rod Stewart's kid, Liam Stewart, with two shorthanded goals. He was the first star in the 6-1 final. Believe it or not, the fans filed out of the building to Maggie May pumping from the sound system. Well, reason to believe may have been a better call, but if the playoffs did start today, the Royals would be in. The teams, the Royals are trying to fend off both loss for the second straight night as well. Prince George was bounced at home 4-1 by Medicine Hat, while in Everett, the Silver Tips lost 3-2 to Kamloops. Great results for the Couch and Caps and Duncan beating the division-leading Surrey Eagles 6-4. Now the win gives the Caps sole possession of second place. They now trail Surrey by four points with three games left on the schedule. Caps host Powell River tomorrow. Finally tonight, a little Shamrocks news for you, and it's a huge blow to the Shamrocks and the Western Lacrosse Association. They are going to be without one of their biggest assets this season. Star player Reese Dutch is not coming home to play in Victoria this spring. Dutch has been traded to the Six Nations Chiefs, and he will play in Ontario's MSL League. I don't know how you replace a player like that. He they played for Team him. Canada and was like half their scoring. So yeah, They're going to miss him. Mm -hmm. All right, time for sports. Mario's here with that. Mine. Some basketball news for you, Hudson. Uh, it is, of course, the busiest time of the season for high school hoops. Eight of the island's top teams are in Duncan this weekend for the AAA Island Championships, all vying for three berths to the BCs. But the news of today's teacher's strike may affect the provincial tournaments in the coming weeks. The Lucky Walia and the Claremont Spartans are trying to focus on the task at hand. That is, one, get off the island first, worry about the BCs later. And they got a good test in the opening matchup of this afternoon's island championships from the Dover Bay Dolphins going bucket for bucket with the Nanamo School. And Claremont managed to squeak out the 58-51 victory to remain on the championship side of the draw. Now, according to BC School Sports, the mid-March AAA Provincial Championships will go ahead as scheduled, though it will remain to be seen if all the schools attend. This moment right now, it's day by day. Yeah, we're, we're you know, we're at this tournament right now. We'll, we'll play the tournament and I think just kind of make some decisions based on some things that happen. The three A's are in Langley. Uh, that's a separate facility. It's not attached anywhere to a school. Uh, the double A is also a separate facility up in Kamloops. It's being played. Uh, and the single A uh, is also in the Fraser Valley. There will be no impact, at least uh, from what I've read so far today. Great to see basketball still being played at Duncan all weekend. Nice to see Mackenzie Smith on the court too. She's a, a she's triple a, threat, quadruple threat. She's got a bright feature on the diamond too. That's right. She's one of those I'm good at all kinds of things athletes. Yeah, great kid. Mm -hmm. All right, my thank you. You're welcome. Uh,